In this video, you'll learn how to take your photographs in black and white, which is how we'll be taking the photos throughout the course. Let's click on the app and open it up. When it opens up, you'll see all photos at the top on the left, and then you'll see LR camera photos. LR means Lightroom. Now when you want to take a photo in Lightroom, on the bottom right, you'll see the camera icon. Let's click on that. Most of the class, we're going to be shooting in black and white because you're going to concentrate on design principles, contrast, highlights, and shadows. On the bottom right, you'll see two circles. Click on those two circles. Right now, the first little box on the left is selected. We want to select the fifth box that says Preset High Contrast Black and White. Click the screen anywhere that you want to focus in on. You'll see a square and focuses in on that spot. Other areas of the photo might become blurry. The circle within the circle in the bottom middle of the screen is your shutter button. Click on that to take a photo. For the first three weeks of this course, we'll be shooting in black and white. And you're probably saying to yourself, why black and white photos? Shooting in black and white is a better choice than shooting in color right now because color is too much information. It's a distraction from what's being viewed when taking the photo. In a black and white image, the world is reduced purely to tone, to light and shadow, brightness and darkness. As a black and white photographer, your visual vocabulary simplifies to form, shape, texture, highlight, and shadow. An understanding of black and white photography will open up an entirely new world of subject matter to you. As your black and white skills improve, you'll begin to see interesting photos and places that would be boring when considered in color. And some of the most famous and most powerful photographs in history of photography are black and white. So the bottom line is shooting in black and white is simpler than shooting in color. It's easier to see the design principles and understand how to take photos better in black and white before you go to color. 